connect your drone. In the corner were the three dots. Tap on the three dots. Scroll over to About. Scroll down. Do you see where it says Flight Controller Number? Write that number down for future reference. You are done with this part. Now you can go to the internet. Go to your web browser and type in DJI Fly Safe. You want to log on to where it says Fly Safe. This page should come up. Make sure you it says America. Scroll down to unlock zone. Now you're gonna have to log in if you already created an account. If you haven't, you gotta create an account. You're gonna need these items to create an account. But since I already have an account, I'm not going to create one. So my account is already in, so now I log in. Alright, here you will see my past ones that I've already done. The uh, we want to request a new log one. Scroll down after you read the disclaimer and confirm. For this next one, it gives you two choices, but for now, we're going to do the zone unlocking. Click on zone unlocking and click confirm. This section is where you put in the information, including the flight controller number that I had you write down earlier. But since I already have mine in, I won't be doing it. When the map page comes up in the white box, type in your zip code. And select the zip code you want to fly in. Here it shows you all the areas of your zip code that's restricted. The light blue is one area, the dark blue is another. This is a different unlocking. So we're just doing the light blue for now. Now down below, it will say the area that you highlighted. This line they're telling you, it basically starts at one day and ends at another day, not hours. Click on the calendar in the box and pick the day that you want to stop flying. It would be good for two days. So if I pick Monday, I'll be able to fly Tuesday also. You can also set it up a week ahead of time. Now, in the box here, the request reason. It doesn't have to be specific. 
They don't care. It's basically for your knowledge of reference. So type in flying for fun, practicing, whatever, and then submit it. You are now done. Now, and this it will automatically go to this page showing you that's accepted. If you want to see your past flights, you can click on view to see what you've done in the past. Now that you're done with the internet process, you can go to your controller and connect it to the drone. On the three dots on the controller screen, under safety, go to unlock, import to aircraft, and it'll tell you license is successful. Now pack up everything and go to the place you want to fly on the day you want to fly.